information of our uh, our uh, the the detailed information of MPU, and also we will give you uh, the admission information for 2023 intake. But before we start, we'd like to give you a brief introduction of ourselves. So this is Yang from the admissions office of Northwestern Polytechnic University, and I'm in charge of the postgraduate program. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Liu. I'm also from the admissions office of International College, Northwestern Polytechnical University. And thank, thanks for the invitation uh, to be here to introduce our university and the, uh, and the international programs to the Bangladesh students mm -hmm. who, is in, who are interested in our university and our international programs. Mm -hmm. um, first, we will give the slides presentation. Uh, the slides will include several parts. First would be the introduction about the Xi'an city, uh, which the university located. And also the second part would be the introduction about the university, Northwestern mm -hmm. Poly Polytechnical University. And uh, third part would be the introduction of, of our programs, including the bachelor, master, PhD, and non-degree programs. And later on, we will have the Q&A session. If you have questions, just we will have a free talk by that time, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. I will share the PowerPoint slides now. Okay, and uh, we are gonna to uh, have our uh, slides right now. And if you have any questions, you you can type in in the chatting box. Okay, and uh, uh, if we could, we will like answer during our presentation. If we could not, we will answer your question in the Q and session. Okay. Okay, let's start our today's uh, webinar. So firstly, we'd like to. I'm very glad to give you the information about the location of Northwestern Polytechnic University, uh, which is Xi'an city, uh, a very beautiful city. And uh, I will say that Xi'an is the best place for students, for international students to come to China for your further study. Why is that? Because uh, most of the students want to come to China, firstly, because they are curious about, you know, the mystery uh, is the culture. And uh, that is what we have. And also, you, you could also feel the modern, you know, uh, the modern lifestyle here. So it's kind of kind of a blend of Asian culture and modern lifestyle you can feel here. Okay, let's go to more details. So why 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 like Emma said, uh, the, the the you can feel the Chinese culture here. It is because uh like Xi'an is a world famous historical and uh, cultural city. And we have, you know, Xi'an city uh, has been like uh, designated by the UNESCO in 1981 as the title of the world famous historical and cultural city. You know, uh, uh, maybe you know that China has a very, very long history. It's around 5,000 years. And in these so many years, there were there were like thirteen dynasties that built their capital city here in Xi'an. So we have so many so many historical heritages here. And if you come to China, or you come, if you come to Xi'an, and you may have the chance to visit the, to visit there, and you can like to see how wonderful they are. And because we have the long history, so absolutely uh, it creates the everlasting civilization. We have so many, the different type of the uh, pieces of artwork and uh, uh, each of them. Uh -oh. uh, I don't know who is drawing on the screen. Could you please withdraw at that? Please um, withdraw what you ha have drawn on the screen, please. Otherwise, we have to uh, stop the sharing and reshare it. We uh, reshare it again. It cannot be withdrawn by our side. Yeah, you can you can stop sharing uh, from your and mute all of them. Okay, and uh, uh, like 
uh, after like every piece of the artwork has the story behind it. And uh, uh, you come to see us. <sighs> Jahid Kum Kul, let me check the name. Mm -hmm. I can sign it. Jahid Kumila. Jahid Kumila, could you withdraw your drawing? I I saw you are drawing on that. Mm. Otherwise, I will kick, kick you out from this. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, let's move on. Um, but you know, Xi'an is not only have the you know the traditional culture that kind of things. We also have the we also uh have the so could you please like stop drawing on the slides on your side? Uh because uh it is not feel good. It is I'm not yeah. I think uh I think the majority of you join to this webinar is interested about China and interested about uh, you, you, you can uh, put him in the waiting room uh, as he couldn't understand. So that's the first time we experience that. It's mm -hmm. so unplugged. Okay, Xi'an is also the city of hard and cold technology. We have so many uh, very famous uh, companies in a different field, such as the electronic information, like the new material energy, like the biomedicine. They come to see and to build their uh, companies here. So on one hand, it like it shows that Xi'an, uh, you know, attracts hat because we have uh, a good relationship in the uh, for the economic. You know, so we can attract this kind of very famous company to come to see and to build their uh like the enterprises here. But on the other hand, their development can also you know um help Xi'an to uh develop the economy further. So it's kind of win-win things. Uh, also Xi'an has uh Xi'an is you know very has the 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 infrastructure is well uh how to say well constructed and uh, just gonna go on, I can move mm -hmm. and Um, so uh, if you like you are a reading lover, we have so many wonderful like um, futuristic bookstore for you and you can go there and you can uh, have a very good um, uh, good experience for your uh, readings, okay? If you are a, a hiking lover, and we have so many beautiful park inside the Xi'an city, you, and, and you can maybe during your weekend, and you can go there and you can release the pressure, it's also very good. And also, we, if you like, if you want to just travel at Xi'an city, just maybe in one day, you can try the shuttle bus. How to say that? It's not shuttle bus. It's kind of city tour. Bus. Yeah, city tour bus. And uh, uh, you you can just uh, take take the bus, and you can like to travel all the Xi'an city just maybe in one day to feel like what uh, Xi'an is. You know how to feel that in what kind of way. Yeah. <laughs> and also, yeah. uh, for young generation, uh, we have so many activities held every year in Xi'an City. For example, we have the uh, annually like the music festival, and also we, we have the 
how to how to how to say that the uh, act, uh the festival for the how to say the cosplay yeah you, the cosplay yeah yeah and yes you can you, yes you you may have the chance to to try the traditional Chinese uh, clothes and uh, that is another way like you know to feel the Chinese culture and uh, also Xi'an is a heaven for food you know we have so many delicious local food. But also, you know, Xi'an, if you look at the map of China, uh, you will see that Xi'an is located at kind of in the central of China. So it so it's like every information, including the foods, you know, gathering here. So which means if you come to Xi'an, you are not only can try the food of local Xi'an, you can also try the, the, the delicious food from the other part of China. So the best of the place in you know, Xi'an for you to come for your further study. Yeah, so um, the food is really good. And I think most of the students who mm -hmm. um, come to Xi'an for their uh, study abroad journey because of the food. <laughs> and because we have a lot of uh, type, a lot of types of the Muslim food here. So a student who needs to have this type of food, they really have a lot of choices. So um, the, their life here is not that boring, <laughs> I will say. Okay, uh, I believe most of you choose to study in China. It's only not it's not only because of the life here is good, but also because the university themselves are good. Because uh, you know, especially for uh, for the um, high, you know, high research uh, study like masters and PhD study, you really need to care about the majors, the universities, and also the research fields uh, for your for your mm, you know your your future work maybe. Mm -hmm. So choose a university is really important, is a key. And uh, like Times Higher Education chef editor, Mr. Philobody said, China is the greatest success story in the world for developing world-class universities. And NPU, Northwestern Polytechnic University, sees us, sees herself as the one of the world universe, class university. Why we see that, let's see the details. Okay, you can see we are qualified to see that because the numbers showed here is really good. For example, we are one of the five star QS university in China. I, I will see the, the numbers of this five star university in China is really a small amount and we are one of them. And our uh, academic rankings of world university is also great. Uh, MPU ranked number 151 to one, uh, uh, the, the accurate number should be to 160. Mm -hmm. So 151 to 160 like this. Uh, the word ranking uh, number is good. And we are not only ranked good for the university ranking, but also ranked good for the subject ranking. For example, um, I will I will also, I will, uh, I always uh, emphasize that. Mm -hmm. MPU is famous for the astronautical science mm -hmm. and aeronautical science, the marine science and technology, the material science. So those majors ranked very good in the world level. For example, I will see uh, the aerospace engineering, the major itself ranked number two worldwide. And also for the um, um, engineering rank ranking, we ranked number 19. Ocean engineering, we ranked number six. And uh, some of you are may interested in the mechanical engineering, electrical and electronic engineering. We also ranked um, number eight and number 15 um, uh, separately. Mm -hmm. So um, the number, the, the rankings are good. And we also have a large, you know, with um, family or, or the community on uh, our side. Uh, those, the lower, uh, panel should shows you the uh, numbers of the university. Now we have more than uh, 36,000 students on study uh, at campus now, and uh, we have more than uh, 4,300 faculties working in the university. And we have, uh, so far we have uh, more than three, uh, 320,000 alumni across the world. Uh, they, are, they are working in different fields, different organizations uh, contribute to the world 
with their knowledge they get uh, from MTU. And also, uh, we offer more than 90 programs, 90 programs uh, for international students. Those programs are from 27 different schools. And for the key national labs, you know, um, uh, for, for Chinese university, we already have the provincial level labs, uh, the, the state or the uh, national level uh, labs. For the national level labs, mm -hmm. we have more than 20 yeah. now. So it's, uh, we always see we are a research oriented university. We really see these fields on research really the key development factor for university's development. So we put a lot of um, efforts or fundings for this uh, re the research development. Okay, um, I have already yeah covered this, so I will skip this slides. Okay, so um, as we are a, you know, more, more than, MPU is a more than 80 years old lady. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we have made a lot of firsts in the history of China. Uh, as I, I mentioned, um, we are famous for the aeronautical, astronautical, marine science, material science, etc. So we made a lot of firsts in the history for those fields. For example, uh, we uh, the first unmanned aer uh, aero vehicle is made in China by the group of research researchers in MPU. And also for the material uh, material science, the first space material laboratory was built in China at MPU by the MPU faculties like this. So we're really good at that. And we really want to make efforts for the development of our nation, the Chinese. And also we would like to contribute to your future. I, we want more researchers join us and gain the knowledge, gain their skills here at MPU, and then contribute their contribute to the you know the the world's development, not only the nation, the China China's development. Okay. Um, okay. Now is a good time to to get uh, to know the uh, the campus campuses of MPU more. Uh, we Now we have three campuses basically uh, which named Chang'an campus, UE campus, and Taishan campus, but we now changed the Taishan campus name to Taishan Intellectual Hub. Mm -hmm. And uh, different campuses will have different um, uh, advantages mm -hmm. and also different um, yeah, beauty. <laughs> so let's see in details. Okay. Here uh, we show some big, uh, beautiful pictures of the different views of the Chang'an campus. Chang'an campus we also call it new campus because it's built less than fifteen years, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, uh, it's at the foot of the Qingli Mountain. It's really a uh, extraordinary mountain, you know, uh, group in in China. So it's the foot of Qingli Mountain. So the I would say the environment there is really great. It's not so far from the city center, but it has uh, a shuttle bus between the new campus and old campus. So uh, the student do not need to worry about the transportation. And also you can, but at the same time, you can experience the, the full season beauty. Uh, in the spring, everywhere is beautiful, right? So the cherry tree uh, streets mm -hmm. will give you a, you know, the, the, the most um, beautiful view mm -hmm. of the, the, the campus. In autumn, we have the ginger tree, and we uh, we also have you know the, the large landscape mm -hmm. with the grasses, so you can relax yourself there. So uh, we also have the uh, largest Asian uh, water library mm -hmm. built on new campus, and th those um, la this library has more than three. 100,000 books stored in the library. So you could view different kinds of books, whatever you want there. And here we shows you the, the other views of the uh, new old campus, which which called UE campus. UE campus has been built more than, I would say 60 years. Mm -hmm. And it's located in the center of the Xi'an city. Uh, it has really convenient transportation. Mm -hmm. uh, when wherever you want to go to to chateau uh, to um uh, mm -hmm. uh to ten more than ten uh bus line mm -hmm. plus two uh subway line will take you 
there, you know, yes, it's, it's just right before the, the gate of the uni university. So you can really, um, you know, take the convenience of this uh, campus mm -hmm. to wherever you want within the city. And uh, uh, it also has different buildings with the histo history, mm -hmm. you know, history fields like that. Um, okay. The next one is the Taizang Intellectual Hub. It was built, uh, it, how to say, it's under construction now. It's, it's under construction now, but par partially it has been completed. Mm -hmm. And for the completed part, uh, I would say it's high tech one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we always have the, you know, the cross-discipline majors settled that they're based there. Mm -hmm. For example, the AI center, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, flexible electronic major is also set there based there. Mm -hmm. So you will be able to have the chance to go there with your summer camp or winter camp. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, in regarding the, the study and research life, you can see from this slide, all the rooms are smart rooms because of the pandemic, or thanks to the pandemic, we upgrade our study room uh, because we want students to study at the same page, offline and online. So we upgraded our um, uh, study room with the high-tech instruments. And also we offer the Indian students with the same level of you know, condition with a Chinese student. They will work in the same library. Uh, they will work in the same uh, office room for their research and the, the daily life. Um, also, uh, uh, besides, you know, uh, spend your, your time or your life or years um, on a uh, foreign country. Yeah. It's not only about the study, it's also about your, your uh, career life. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe MP will provide you the, the best and convenient campus life here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, um, I would say, about 10 categories. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so whatever which which type whatever types of the food you are uh, interested in we always can offer that mm -hmm. and also we have the convenience store we have cozy cafe mm -hmm. and um uh, you can grab your the snacks uh, between the, the classes if you want and if you are a sports fan we have different sports field or grounds for you mm -hmm. we have the outdoor and indoor swimming pool we have the badminton fields we have the um the soccer fields we have the basketball fields so different types whatever you can imagine we have that and it's really co uh, convenient and uh, comfortable uh, environment there okay uh, so uh, most of the international students would like to live on campus in the international apartments. So they would care about what the living experiences would be. Mm -hmm. So here you can see the uh, building in the, the, the biggest picture shows you is the international student apartment. Mm -hmm. So this building is only for the interna international students. So you could live with your country mates or other country students who study in, in MPU. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will be convenient for you guys to, you know, um, talk to each other to have your, your um, daily life. And then we also offer the kitchens uh, on every floor of the apartment. Uh, I think it's two for every floor, mm -hmm. each on the, the, the end side of each floor. Uh, so you could cook yourself if you want and save some money, you know. And but but the canteen is not expensive. So you you could also take your um your food in canteen, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. And we have also provided study room for the international students mm -hmm. on the uh, inside of the apartment so you have rooms to to take your homework there and we offer double room and single room but mostly the single room is offered for the phd students mm -hmm. yeah if you don't want to live on campus we also have different communities around the campuses uh you could rent a room if you want mm -hmm. And we offer colorful activities for international students uh for for example the on uh, every traditional uh, Chinese festival, we will gather the students together to, to have very different 
activities related to each traditional Chinese uh, festivals, mm -hmm. like Dragon Boat Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, and also we provide the, the, uh, the opportunity to students to experience the, the other sides of Chinese culture, like Chinese tea party, mm -hmm. and also the Chinese painting and comic shows and picking opera shows like that. So you could experience different kinds of Chinese culture besides your, your study and your own life, mm -hmm. your, your own country's uh, cultural life. And also we will provide the international student with the opportunity to show their own countries uh, culture. Yeah. We have the um, international cultural bridge activity every year. Uh, different country students could give the shows, like shows of their own country culture. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, we care about the social practice. Um, uh, how to say? Experience. experiences mm -hmm. so we offer the social practice activity for um for our international students you can see from this picture uh, we gather them together and take them to different enterprises and like alibaba like the uh, longji that's a uh, solar solar energy company that like different uh, enterprises we are working with so that they could gain some internship uh, opportunities and also we give them the opportunity to to watch the uh, launch of the Rockies and gather them together to some rural parts of the Chinese um you know cities to teach the fundamental childs like that so you could um experience something different here through the social practice we offer for the international students mm -hmm. Okay. And now we'd like to introduce you about the programs. Firstly, we'd like to talk about the master and PhD programs. As you can see here, uh, for 2023 intake, we for master program, we have 25 schools offers uh, offer uh, 59 majors, and most of them are in English media. And also for PhD, we have 21 schools offer 43 majors and uh, as well. Same as well. So uh, the most the most of them are in English medium. And because uh, as you can see, we have so many majors here, so we cannot put just show in on the slides. And I already see that the agency member already shared the major details in the chatting box, and you can check there. Okay. And also the very first information for the application is about that line. For master and PhD programs, we have four batches. The first one uh, already finished. No, no, we we'll just start from the second one. So the second batch is uh, that the deadline will be March 15, and also uh, the third will be April 15, and the last one will be May 15. So it, which means after May 15th, the 2023 master and PhD application will be done. Okay, so take your time to prepare your document and to finish your application as early as you can. And also we'd like to highlight that for the census scholarship, uh, now we only have the one and the last deadline, which will be the March 15th, okay? There is less than a month. So uh, if you guys are uh, interested about census scholarship, uh, I think you need to like in her out to prepare a document and uh, to finish your related application, okay? The second important information we want to share is about the mission requirements. For post, uh, for master and PhD programs, uh, we have the limitation for the age, absolutely. So for master application, uh, the applicant's age, like they need to be like under 35 years old. And for PhD, the age should be under 40. Okay, the uh this requirement is very especially uh, it's very strict, especially for the census scholarship. Okay, if you are like the like you are elder than the thirty five for master or forty for the PhD, um, uh, I think you cannot apply for census scholarship. Okay. And the second one is about the degree. The requirements is for degree. So for master application, you need to have the uh, bachelor's degree. And for PhD application, you need to have the master degree. And for maybe some students, it, they are like at the last year of their bachelor or master study, it is okay. You can still apply for it. 
that what kind of information you need to provide instead of the final original degree, it is a pre-graduation certificate or the, it is called the HOPE certificate, okay, which means you need to ask the Harvard University uh, to provide you a pre-graduation certificate or HOPE certificate and upload to the MPU application portal in the section of the degree, okay? I hope it is clear to you. And the uh, next one we want to highlight is about the GPA requirement from your previous study, which is about uh, 75%, which means it should be 75% out of 100. If your grading system is four, should be three out of four, okay? If your grading system is five, should be 3.75 out of five, okay? Hope it is clear to you. And also the next information we want to share is about the language proficiency certificate. MPU does not accept the university level English certificate, which means we only accept the uh, language result listed here. I think that the most, most of you will apply for the English medium major. So you can take a screenshot of these lines. We only accept the IELTS, TOEFL, PT, and Dolingo test result, okay? Uh, we, we don't accept the others. You can take a screenshot of this page. Uh, absolutely, MPU can provide the financial aid for the international student. We will provide the uh, stu uh, excellent student who uh, like have the potential, who have the ability in the academic study and also like China, and we will uh, provide the very good uh, financial aid to this students, to this student, okay? So for master and PhD uh, program, we have three types of, we have three types of the scholarship. The first one is census scholarship. And uh, we have type A and type B for the postgraduate program. But I think uh, like any of you who wants to apply, apply uh, well agency will apply for the type B because the type A is applied well the embassy, right? So for the type B, the coverage is like uh, faster. We will cover you 100% tuition fee, dormitory fee, insurance fee, and then provide you the 3,000 RMB monthly stipend. And for PhD, uh, the others are the same. Uh, the monthly stipend is 3,500 RFP, okay? And the next one scholarship is called MQ Present Scholarship, and we have three prizes. The first prize, uh, the coverage is we will cover you 100% tuition pay, dormitory pay, and provide you the monthly stipend, uh, 2,000 RMB for master, and 3,500 for PhD. And the second prize will cover you 100% tuition pay, and the third prize will cover you the half of the tuition pay. And the last one scholarship is called the Bell and Road International Student Scholarship. Uh, three prizes as well. For the first prize, we will cover you 100% tuition fee, dormitory fee, uh, and provide you the 12 months monthly stipend, which will be like a 2,000 RMB for master and 3,500 RMB for PhD. And for the second prize, we will cover you 100% tuition fee and provide you the 10 months stipend, uh, like 2,000 for master and 3,500 for PhD. And the third prize, the stipend are the same as the second price. And uh, we will also cover you the five, uh, 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 the 50% of your tuition fee, okay? So what, what's the difference between these three scholarship? So for census scholarship type B, we have the major limitation. Okay, I think you can uh, know this kind of like major details from your from the agency that uh, we have the like different major which are supported by the CSC, but which are not. You need to, if you want to apply for CSC, check the major first to see whether it is supported by CSC or not. Then you can consider you will apply or not, okay? So for CSC scholarship, we have the major limitation. For belt and road scholarship, we have the nationality limitation. So it's like uh, for the student's nationality, it's, should be belong to the Belt and Road country and have the agreement with China, okay? And for MPU present scholarship, there is no limitation. Uh, so it's no matter what majors you want to apply, no matter where you are from, you can apply for this major, okay? And also I want to add something for the postgraduate program. So we, um, because 
can you uh, really cares about the master and PhD student? So we are willing to provide the best scholarship to our postgraduate program students because we know that some students come to China but they have family. Yes, they maybe you know struggle on the financial uh, issue. So we want to we want to help you more. So we would like to fly, uh, uh, provide you the best uh, scholarship. So for PhD applic applicants, we will only provide you the first prize. Okay, for the master, uh, it will be three prizes, but um like so when you so so in the end what which prices of the scholarship you will be awarded it depends on your interview okay so have a good result during interview and uh, which means you have the higher chance to have the best scholarship okay and also uh we because in uh, on slides we we didn't show you what kind of documents you need to be prepared um but there's one more thing we would like you to know that for PhD applicants, you are required to provide the acceptance letter from the supervisor. So which means if you, if you want to apply for PhD at NPU, you need to contact the supervisor first. You can contact your agency to get the link of the supervisor information of each school and uh, uh, follow the instruction and contact the supervisor, okay? For master applicants, there were five schools requires the acceptance letter from the supervisor. They are School of Aeronautics, School of Material Science and Technology, School of Mechanical Engineering, School of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering, and School of Life Science, okay? This information is very clearly mentioned on the official website, and you can ask for the agency to get the link of MPU, okay? And uh, you can check if you, you know, during the now, you cannot remember the name, you can check it later by yourself, okay? So which means for PhD application, application the acceptance letter is the mandatory document, okay? For math applicants, uh, apart from those five schools I mentioned, the applicants for the others, the other, the rest of the school applicant, applicants, uh, this document is not mandatory. Okay, hope it is clear to you. Uh, now we are going to have the information for the undergraduate program. Compared to the majors we offer to the international students for the master and PhD program, the majors for the undergraduate uh, is much more less because we want to focus on the fundamental education. To, to 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 enable students to have a very you know the the the, the very form very form fundamental you know so uh this page we they are the majors in English medium for undergraduate program uh I think it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it's twelve majors okay I English in medium provided to the undergraduate program for international students. And on this page, we have the Chinese medium majors, but I think you will apply for the English medium, so we will skip this one. Okay, so for undergraduate program, the same as PG program, the very first information is about the deadline. So for, for we have four batches as well. So the first deadline is, it, it well uh, goes to the March 15, it's less, one, less than one month. And the second one, uh, the deadline is April 15th, and the third one is May 15th, and the last one is June 15th. So which means after June 15th, the 2023 MPU undergraduate program will be finished. So take your time, prepare a document, and finish your online application as early as you can, okay? For the admission requirement for undergraduate program, I will highlight several here as well. The first thing you need to have a high school certificate. If you are at the last year of your high school study, you can provide the pre-graduation certificate or a HOPA certificate officially issued by your high school. Okay. So for age, you uh, the applicants need to be under the 30 as the uh, September 1st of 2023. Okay. And the for GPA requirement. We require students to uh, reach the line of the 
you know, 75% of our hands work. And after that, if you like have the like as ATIB or kind of the uh result, test result, you can ask your agency to provide to us and then let us check first to see whether we can accept it or not. Okay. Absolutely, the language certificate required uh, proficiency requirements is also important for undergraduate program. So same as the PG program. Uh, the high school level English certificate is not acceptable. So which means you need to provide the language certificate listed here. So we, for the undergraduate program, we accept IELTS, TOEFL, PT, Dolingo, A-level English course, and the Cambridge Mean Suit examination, examinations. You can take a screenshot of this page, uh, of this page and uh, uh, to consider which like international uh, unit test results you will be take, okay? And also we have the financial aid for the undergraduate program as well. Um, but for this scholarship, we only have type A for bachelor study. So I will skip this one. Uh, so we can consider about the, the other two. The first one is called the Bell and Road Scholarship, and also we have three prizes. The first prize will cover you 100% tuition day, dormitory day, uh, and also provide you the 12 months monthly stipend, uh, which is 1,500 RMB. Okay. The second prize will provide you 100% tuition day, and also provide you the 10 months monthly stipend of. 1,500 RMB, okay? For the third price, the monthly stipend are the same. Uh, it's also for 10 months, but uh, for the tuition fee, we will cover you the uh, half, you know, the 50%, okay? Uh, the next one, the scholarship is called MP Plan Scholarship. Also, we have three prices. The first one, we will cover you 100% tuition fee, uh, dormitory fee and provide you 12 months monthly stipend of uh, 1,500 RMB. Okay, for the second price, we will cover you 100% tuition fee. For the third price, we will cover you the half of the, of the tuition fee. So, uh, so it's like during the application, you can only choose the scholarship type you want to apply for. But in the end, so which Prices of the scholarship you will be awarded. It it will based on your examination and interview result. Okay, so hope it is clear to you. Uh, apart from the degree, uh, okay, this is before we go to the down degree program. Uh, we would like to like uh, make you to uh, have a brief introduction. Maybe of no, them. because they are some through agents. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They're not applying themselves. Okay, absolutely. We are mm -hmm. well. So uh, apart from the degree program, we have some non-degree program. So if you are only uh, interested about language, it's like you are not uh, sure whether you will like do your for the study here at MPU, but you want to come to MPU, you can you can you, you can consider about the Chinese language. Although we are a, you know, the engineer, you know, the research oriented university, but our Chinese language center is very famous here in Xi'an because our Chinese uh, teacher are wonderful. You know, the international students really love them. So you can consider about to come to MPU for your Chinese study. And uh, yeah, Chinese language study. But also we have the foundation program and uh, uh, we have the Chinese foundation program and also we have the English foundation program. And if you are interested about the foundation first, especially for the bachelor's uh, applicants, you want to like to uh, maybe, you want to make your Chinese language better or you want to maybe, um, Maybe like uh, you are you want to make your math or some subjects you know better. You can consider about the foundation program, and you can contact your agency for the more details. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's all for the slides, and uh, we will we will finish the yeah we will finish the sharing. And uh, if you have any questions, we are here to help you to answer it, okay? Um,
So uh, uh, thank you, teacher, uh, for your nice presentation. I think uh, most of the question has uh, covered uh, by your presentation and uh, already uh, there were some question in chat box and we have uh, tried to answer them. Uh, okay. So uh, there are some participants raising their hand. So uh, should we go to them uh, to yeah. pick their question? Yeah, yes, 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 we, yes, we can yeah, have a communicate with them. The, so, age, uh, the age requirement for the master is 35. 35, the age limitation for master program is 35. Okay, uh, so there is one participant, uh, Milon Kumar. Uh, so I would like to ask him to unmute and ask his question. Milan Kumar, would you please unmute yourself and ask your question? Yes, sir. Uh... I would like to especially thanks to um, uh, host as well as our uh, co-host co in Bangladesh. Especially, I would like to uh, very much interested to get my admission in PhD. Though I'm already trying again and again, but I'm really unsuccess uh, a few years ago. But I, I have already completed my uh, bachelor program in computer science as well as in master's program in computer science. And later in 2017, I also completed my MSc program in second master's program from University of Kolkata in the field of uh, biomedical instrumentation. So if it is uh, highly, uh, I would be, I'd be very highly appreciate if you get me the admission uh, for PhD level for material science as well as or computer science and uh, computer science or uh, biomedical instrumentation sectors or biomedical engineering sectors. I'm uh, really uh, happy to uh, both organization as well as the university, uh, all professors as well as to the, our co-host in Bangladesh, who will be arranged for this uh, beautiful uh, situations to co cooperate the both understanding of the student as well as the uh, host, uh, uh, host university. So uh, if you it is possible, please uh, give me the admission because I have no <laughs> hope because my age is uh, going to uh, more over is. So now I'm uh, just like my age is uh, 40 uh, ex existing in, in Mars. So if, uh, if it is possible, please consider me. I'm really interested to get myself in free admissions. Thank you uh, uh, all the participants as well as uh, our uh, host. And, uh, okay, okay. Um, thank you. Thank you. So teacher, uh, did you get his uh, question? I think uh, um, some, some in some way. So he his age is uh, forty, right? So he is, he would like to apply for computer science for the PhD. Yeah. Um, is that right? Am I right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. He have uh, he have uh, a master degree in uh, two disciplines. The one is uh, uh, computer science, and another is uh, biomedical science. He have two master degree, and in any discipline, uh, uh, in uh, either in computer science or in biomedical science, he want to do his PhD. But his correct age is uh, 40. 40 is running. As you oh, mentioned. What, what, what's the month of your, your what um, the date of birth of the month? Max is uh, for master's program uh, in computer science. Uh, no, no, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Milan Kumar, please, please mention your date of birth. Date of yeah. birth. Oh, oh, first March 1982. March. March. March, March 1982. Past March 1982. It's already, it's already 18. Um, it's possible. It's possible. So, so <laughs> it's, I will say, it's, I will say, it's not possible to apply for CSC because the, for the CSC scholarship, they have really strict uh, uh, age limitations. So over uh, by they require by the by the time of September, the student has to be under age of forty. So your age absolutely uh, obviously is more than forty by that time. So you are not qualified for uh, CSC scholarship. But mm -hmm. um, but uh, since you are applying for PhD, you need to contact the supervisor first to to accept uh, to get the acceptance letter. So. Uh, that depends on whether you, there there are or there is supervisors or supervisor could accept you. If you have the acceptance letter, you could continue to apply. The other yeah, to apply to other scholarships and go through the uh, application process. So we will not um, how to say we will not reject you at uh, at least at the time of application. Because because of the age, we won't do that. 
Okay, thank you, teacher. So, uh, Milan Kumar, I, I think you uh, got your answer, right? Yes. Okay, so you can you can apply for uh, other scholarship except CSC, uh, and uh, you need to uh, contact supervisor first for acceptance letter. So, we would like to go for next participant who is raising hand, uh, Fatima bin Jaman. Would you please unmute yourself and ask your question? Uh, I was uh, connecting from my sister's account. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, I'm an undergrad student and I um, just completed my first semester in here, but I would like to move in China and study there. And uh, I would like to know about the undergrad at uh, hostel facilities because if I get married in here, can I take my spouse with me uh, to there and study on there? Okay, um, so I, I, I didn't get you what program you're applying, a master or under bachelor? Bachelor program. Okay, so you are a, applying bachelor uh, and you are going to marry, mar uh, to take, uh, take, take uh, you are going to marriage soon, right? Yeah, I'm uh, about to getting married soon and I would like to take my wife on there. And if their accommodation system is really um, it, me and wife can get a room in there and that will okay. be really grateful to me. So here is the situation. Um, the university, MPU, Press, uh, MPU Northwestern Polytechnic University required the undergraduate student to live on campus in the dormitory, but it's not allowed the, you know, the, the person or people who are not student to live on dormitory. So that's the case. If you bring your family oh, yeah. here, you cannot live together. Uh, she will apply to uh, both of us will study there exactly. I'm sorry, she will apply either, you mean? Yeah, we will apply together. Okay. I mean, you, get, you guys cannot live together in the dormitory. Okay, thank you. And the student needs to live in the dormitory for the undergraduate. That's the, the policy. So you you know you know that the, yeah goes with goals. Yeah, so you you guys cannot live together. That means so uh thank you, teacher, uh for your mm -hmm. uh answer. And I'd like to go to the next participant raising hand. Uh, Mr. Adnan, would you please uh unmute yourself and ask your question? Mr. Adnan, please animate yourself. Okay. Adnan. Okay. So uh, maybe he's uh, not here. Okay. So, so we can okay. Go uh, okay. Next, uh, Mr. Shohan. Shohan, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Yes. Uh, this is MD Shohan Roman. Can you please hearing me? Yeah, 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 you are audible. Ask your question. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, actually, I have two questions. Uh, I am trying to uh, go to China by uh, job, actually, and it's ongoing. But uh, from 2000, before COVID, actually, I got the offer in Shanghai. But due to COVID, I cannot go there. But it's processing now. Uh, if I can go there in job purpose, but if I want to uh, then change uh, to uh, admission, the master's program, is it possible? Mm, so here is a policy for this year uh, because the COVID-19 has passed away from yes. its uh, history now. So uh, previously we allow students to change their visa type in China without going out because of the pandemic. But now, since the situation is, is back to normal, the students, uh, the applicants actually, we call the applicants need to go out of China to apply okay. for their study visa. So it's the, the policy now. So if you got a working visa now and come back, uh, come to China, then you want to change your visa to study visa, you need to go outside of China, then apply the visa and come again. Am I answering the question, your question? Yeah, Mr. Shohan, uh, are you clear?
Uh, okay, so uh, next one, uh, Kobir Ahmed. Would you please unmute yourself and ask your question? Thank you so much. Uh, I have a question uh, uh, about this regarding a PhD. Uh, do you provide PhD in chemistry? Yes. Okay, I, I have completed my master's uh, at the year of 2012. Uh, but my age is uh, under 38. So I think there is no problem uh, in this regard. So you, you, you mentioned you have been graduated since 2012, right? Yeah, yeah. So you've been working for the past eight, uh, 10 years? 10 years, yeah. I, I have been uh, working as a teacher uh, okay. uh, uh, under 12, 12 grade student. Uh, six to 12 grade student uh, and i would like to study more okay so your age is be, uh, be, below 40 below 40 my date of birth is 12th march 1986 then you are qualified uh, you can prepare all the documents and uh, don't forget the, the acceptance letter from one professor at mpu under the major you are applying and prepare all the documents then you can apply without yeah, and one more thing, Any because problem. you have a gap, gap year oh, yeah. between, so you need to also provide a working certificate. For yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. no problem. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No okay. problem. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Kobir Ahmed. Uh, uh, I saw that uh, Mr. Adnan is here. Mr. Adnan, would you please unmute yourself and ask your question? She, okay. she, he just okay. flashed, uh, so, flashed back. <laughs> okay. So uh, uh, next I'll go to uh, Mr. Yamin. Yamin, would you please unmute yourself and ask your question? Maybe. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, I have just completed my diploma in engineering from civil department. Uh, now I'm very interested uh, to apply for my undergraduate in China. Uh, first thing I want to mention that I'm not that much financially sound. Uh, that's why I'm looking for a full funded uh, scholarship. Is there any opportunity for undergraduate student? Uh, I also want to mention my uh, educational qualification, uh, like my result. My SSC result is 4.93 out of Five and my diploma in engineering result 3.85 out of four. I am also done my ITS. I got uh, 5.5. Then I am not that much financially uh, good. That's why I am looking for. You mean you? Uh, I am looking for a full funded scholarship. Okay, uh, we do provide uh, we do provide scholarships for undergraduate students. Uh, the scholarship name uh, two types. The first time is MPU Present Scholarship. It levels two three prizes, and the other one is uh, Xi'an City the Belt and Road Scholarship. Also levels two three prizes. As uh, Miss Yang just mentioned in the in in her uh, introduction to the programs, um, the levels of the scholarship needs to be decided based on the examination undergraduate will take uh you know the, the entrance the examin uh entrance examination yeah. uh the, the undergraduate program uh, applicants need to take and also the interview because we uh we uh, there is a quota for the scholarship for um undergraduate only 10 percent of the admitted student could get the first prize mm -hmm. so that's that's the quota for the first prize if you are um you are good enough for your uh, for your performance during your examination and interview i believe you could get enough uh, supporting for the financial side Please. because for the undergraduate on uh, the stipend would be 15 uh, or, no, no, 1,500 per month. And the, the average living expenses uh, in Xi'an City is around that. And I will say the, the, the meal, 
price at on campus would be low uh, compared to the meals outside of campus. And also um, uh, you could cook by yourself. It will even lower the, the, the expense of your living, you know. So, um, and it will also cover your, your um, tuition fee, the dormitory fee, so you don't have to pay those parts. So uh, it would support you to go through the whole study, mm -hmm. but it has annual review. You have to keep your, 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 you know, your um, credits to be got and no fuse of the courses, no break of the regulations and rules during the whole study, then you can uh, keep re receiving the same type of scholarship for the four years of study of bachelors. Yeah. Okay, I have a, one more question, please. Can mm -hmm. I ask? Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, is the, the first uh, uh, type A scholarship is uh, conditionable or unconditional? What do you mean a co college? Uh, type A scholarship, which is uh, provided by uh, uh, teacher. Teacher, uh, uh, could I uh, answer him? Oh yeah, yeah sure. Question. Yeah. So uh, yeah, teacher already mentioned that uh, uh, to continue your scholarship, you have to uh, 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 carry a passport, no fail in any course, and you you don't uh, you need to obey the rules and regulation of the universities and uh, China. If you do the uh, this type of uh, condition uh, carry on, then you can continue the scholarship for four years. Like uh, the requirement marks, class attendance, and uh, uh, obeying rules and regulations. Uh, good. And I think I think you got it. Okay. Yeah. So it has every types of the scholarship has annual review. For the annual review, the uh, the content would be to check whether you have filled for the courses for the previous years. If you have break any laws or regulations of the university or the city or the state like that. If you perform good, you uh, you study good, then you have no problem for continue having the same level of uh, scholarship. Okay, uh, so next, uh, uh, I think uh, I think Mr. Shorob, uh, you have uh, another question. Mm -hmm. So unmute yourself and ask. Mr. Shorov. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mike. Oh, okay. How about we go to the yeah. next? And, and so, uh, and uh, we couldn't hear Mr. Shorov. So, uh, Mr. Adnan, you raise your hand again. Yeah, this time can, you have to unmute you yourself. Okay, ask your question. Can I ask? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Can I talk uh, Bengali? So if you talk Bengali, then teacher will not understand you. So you. Uh, or uh, Mr. Uh, Azam, you could yeah. translate to us. Yeah, yeah, sure, okay. sure. Ask your question in Bengali. I will translate. Okay, sure. At the first question, I mean, ACC complete question. Question is not question. I mean, ACC complete question 2022 day. Yeah, 2020. अनेक Types of scholarship. So, we take to Okay. So, teacher, uh, he has uh, two questions actually. Uh, he yeah. completed his uh, 12th grade education uh, in last year, to, uh, 2022. Now, mm -hmm. he wants to apply in uh, uh, computer science for undergrade level. Uh, mm -hmm. So, third, his first question is whether. Uh, IELTS, uh, IELTS or English proficiency certificate is mandatory or not? Okay, to answer okay. the first question, uh, we do require the English uh, test result 
uh, or certificate. And uh, I think my, my colleague Ian has already explained during the web, uh, the uh, PPT slides. Mm -hmm. uh, we accept not only ELSE, but also TOEFL, uh, PTE, Duolingo, uh, or the Cambridge, in, uh, uh, Cambridge English examin uh, examination. Mm -hmm. uh, there is two suits, FCE and EC. I, I forgot the, the details, but I could flash back to the, the slides and show to, to this student. So we have, we, we are not only accept else, but also uh, the other types. So we highly recommend Duolingo. Duolingo is one uh, online English proficiency test and it's affordable. It's only $49 per test. And the whole test would, would, um, would be about one hour. So it's time convenient, uh, efficient, and, and, um, and cost efficient. Mm -hmm. And also the, the, the time to, to, to announce the result would be very short. Uh, after you take the test, uh, within 48 hours, the result will be given to the uh, students. So that's what we highly recommend. Okay, uh, thank you. And uh, uh, his second question was about the scholarship and I think you have already explained. So if you permit, I will uh, uh, explain in Bengali to him. Yeah, sure, thank you. As a question, uh, teacher uh, 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 IELTS uh, 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 IELTS uh, 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 or PTE, J English proficiency score gula acceptable ache, a gula jacuna act up na lagbe. I'll sole, I'll say six lagbe, bachelor at Jono, Kono bande five point five in each at the barbana, Jodi apni duolingo then, Tawla actual pass lagbe duolingo score. Ebong uh, teacher jetta bolen, the duolingo ta beshi preferable acarone, the duolingo shumaita com lage, a uh, corsta com matro unoponsa dollar hotse registration fees, a bong actual is content moderator result the day. Our scholarship in Bishota Hotse, the scholarship of Nikon category the Pabin, at Abna result among uh, university tech interview Nibe, uh, at a short exam Nibe, it a Gulurupore depend corpus of Nikon category scholarship. Pabin. Take a set. At a question, so I have, I have, uh, study gap and I have, I completed my ACC higher secondary certificate, uh, like. Uh, 2020. So, uh, not 2020. Uh, 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 so uh, uh, you uh, you have to schedule the, your time frame the, whether you will uh, uh, sit for IELTS and get result and you uh, you will apply okay okay, sure. okay so uh, next uh, I would like to uh, invite uh, Deepu Chandrashil would you please uh, unmute yourself and ask your question yes uh, I have uh, just completed my diploma but there is some spelling mistake in my certificate can a application for bsc in china uh, i'm sorry can you repeat again actually there is i have completed my diploma and uh, there is some spelling mistake in my certificate can i apply in china for bsc uh, i didn't get you uh, uh teacher i uh, uh allow me to explain yeah. uh, he has a spelling mistake in his certificate and his passport that uh, like there is a mismatch in his name uh, yeah, on uh, which is written in his passport and uh, in his certificate so will be a will it be a great problem for him him to apply okay so uh, we have to check the name according to the passport so uh, if it's not matching with each other, we need yeah we need the 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 student to contact their previous university or college or school to give a certificate to show, uh it's it's um the it's a typo or something issue with the certificate. Yeah, it should be kind of a officially official statement from uh his previous university to, with the official yeah, stamp yeah yeah, yeah yeah to state. 
what the issue is. Otherwise, we cannot like matching the students, so we, it, it should be a problem during the application. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, Deepu Chandrashil, uh, teacher said that you need to collect a, a declaration certificate from your uh, institution that you are the same person or the same name uh, that is mentioned in the uh, passport. Hope you uh, got your answer. Okay. So, next, I would uh, like to invite uh, Tahasin to unmute yourself and ask your question, mm -hmm. Mr. Tahasin. Tahsin, do you hear me? Okay, uh, Mr. Johurul Hawk, uh, you can ask your question oh, no. first. You, you can. Um, you, you, okay. you, you are uh, yeah. am, I, am I available right now? Yeah, 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 Tahsin. Okay. Okay. Uh, I graduated from my high school in 2021 and it is currently 2023. Thus, I have one or two gap year. So, instead of working in any organization or company, I concentrated on my personal skill development and I prepared for my English proficiency examination. So do I need to submit any documentation or an explanation of what I did during my gap year if I apply for undergraduate program? Yes, you need, it's required. If there is any gap year and the gap year is not only several months, then we need a explanation or certificate or statement to show what you have done during this time. Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, thank you. Uh, so next, uh, Mr. Uh, Jehurul Hawk, please unmute yourself and ask. Thank you, Madison, sir. And I also thanks to the representatives from NPU. Thank you, madam. Thank you, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can. Thank you. I'm Johor Hawk, and I have honors and master's degree in accounting, mainly. And then I, I completed bachelor in education, and I also completed bachelor in uh, physical education. Mm -hmm. I have been serving as an assistant teacher at a government primary school here mm -hmm. for 30 years. Yeah. And I'm very interested to go to China for higher studies. Mm -hmm. And I already I visited uh, Mehdi Sir. And I'm um, 41 year now. I'm 40, 41 years now. Mehdi Sir told me that it's very difficult for me to go to China as I crossed 40. So I'm, I'm very disappointed. I'm fascinated to the glorious history of China, natural beauties of China, greatness of Chinese nation, being superpower. Yeah. Besides, China is a big development and economic partner of Bangladesh. So, so I'm very, very interested to go to China for higher studies. So please ask your question. Did I'm, you, I'm you to go to China for yeah. Uh, I'm very interested to go to China for a uh, uh, doctorate program in, in, in accounting or education, if it is pos possible. Um, okay, thank you. Thank you for your question. So um, first, we don't have accounting or education major. <laughs> That's the... The, the, that's the, the key, key problem. And yeah. Second, uh, since your age is 40, 41, so it's hard for us to arrange your, your to, to process your, your application because it's already one year over the limitation. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. Uh... So next, uh, I'd like to go, Mr. Uh, Mazharul Islam. Would you please unmute yourself and ask your question? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. you are audible. Okay. Nihal. Nihal. 
Lashi, and I have a sub question about that. And yeah. uh, I completed my HSC examination in 2018. Mm -hmm. And now I am graduating in public university in, in Bangladesh. And uh, right now, my and I completed my HSC and uh, higher school certificate is arts background. Okay. And, uh, and uh, this question is, uh, there is any technical subject to study in China? There is any opportunity here? Um, so what's exact the major you have taken previously? Uh, previously, at this moment, I want to, I want to study in computer science related. It's maybe software and hardware related. Uh, so you are applying for bachelor or master? Under undergraduate, undergraduate degree. Okay, so uh, I think um, for because you know MPU is a engineering kind of a, a engineering um, university. So most of our majors are related to the engineering. So for those um, fields, uh, we highly um, we we how to say we require the, the applicants to have the uh, mm -hmm. you know, strong background of the math or physics and physics. Math is a fundamental thing and physics is a, uh, the requirements for study further of the kind of electrical, electric, elect, uh, mechanics or something else. So if you, you only have the background of arts or uh, you don't have, you know, you don't learn in deep for math or physics that would have very, um that would be a question or problem when you study yeah pursue your further study for some engineering majors mm -hmm. yeah yeah i got it and uh and there is a problem that i think yeah yeah because and, we, uh, we will still we will also have the uh the test examination for the for the entrance of the bachelor uh, application and we will for different majors we will take the math test and physics test chemistry test english test etc but if you don't have that you know strong background then the test would be a problem for you either okay i got it and there is any there is any subject to study for any arts background experience in your, in your university um arts uh, so we have the um the major of let's, let me see business administration. I think uh, he can apply. Oh, the um, e-commerce, the the marketing, marketing would be probably will be related to what you want, right? Marketing and uh, the uh, international economics and a uh, trade. That one probably could be close to your choices. <laughs> and oh, also, you. and also, let me. See. The business administration undergraduate level. Yes. Yeah, I got it. And uh, I have I have another question that and at this moment I am studying in Chinese language in Confucius Institute in Dhaka University. And uh, right now and uh, after in September session, I have a plan to go to China for my higher education for my another graduation degree. And right now I am confusing about that and which subject uh, I will be gay to study. And there is a, there is a pro big problem that uh, my background is from arts. Yeah, yeah. But if you have, but if, even though you have the arts background, but you learn in deep with the uh, with the math and physics, you are okay because if you take this courses previously, if you are good at that, when you're doing the examination, when you're doing the uh, interview, you are okay. Then you then you should be with no problem. Okay, thank you, uh, thank you, teacher, uh, for your answer. I think uh, Madarul Islam, you got your answer. Uh, so there is another participant raising hand, Nahida Akhtar. Could you please uh, unmute yourself and ask your question? Uh, I come. Uh, can I? Can I? Any question? Yeah, Teacher? yeah. You, you can ask. You can ask. Okay. Um, I complete my ATC exam 2021. Uh, I want to. Um, I want to admit it in CSC uh, in this university. Uh, you know, um, I have one. I have one year gap 
if I admitted in this uh, university, um, uh, university, I need, do I need any reason why I gave one year? So uh, she is asking that uh, she has one year study gap as he, uh, as she has completed his uh, ACC 12th grade education in 2021. 21. Yeah. yeah, so uh, uh, is it required to show uh, any reason why uh, she has this one year gap? Yeah, yeah, same, same thing. Uh, the other student just asked. Yes, if uh, it's more than one year or just as just one, it's kind of one year long or even longer. Then you have to make the statement or explanation about what have you been doing during that period. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, then Mr. Uh, Milton Kumar, would you please unmute yourself and ask your question, please? Milton Kumar. Okay, so I think. Um, uh, I think he's not able to unmute. No, no, I, I, I try to unmute him. I ask him to unmute himself. Yeah. It's not working, maybe. Yeah, I am also asking to unmute. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I think no, no more questions. So maybe, maybe, let me try. Milton again. Kumar. Okay, so is there anyone to ask? Uh, question um it, it's okay and uh, because after today's webinar if anyone who has the yeah milton kumar you can ask now oh, yeah, please, please. yes sir do please uh, hear my uh, speak yeah yeah we are hearing Okay, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, because I have already uh, got the final decision from the university, uh, both the professor as well as uh, the conversation, both you. Actually, I would like to again request to you that if uh, the if, if, if it is possible to arrange the uh, is, um, uh, professor, uh, uh, is uh, uh, supervisor as well as the co uh, supervisor uh, university level because I have no already uh, I have no um, supervisor as well as the co guard yet now uh, so if it is possible to arrange uh, the university both professor that is conducted at that presence uh, I'll I'd be very highly appreciated to you as well as to the co uh, hosting Bangladesh or also at, uh, both uh, communications between the university and the students and so if it is possible to uh, have any uh, supervisor or co guide at your university, please uh, uh, send the professor uh, contact details to the uh, co host in Bangladesh uh, education consultancy. Uh, I would be very happy to uh, the both uh, uh, professor. Uh, okay, thanks. Thanks, you all. Um, we, we actually cannot hear it very clearly. Yeah, actually, actually, uh, teacher, I, I can uh, reply him. Uh, he is asking about uh, the contacts of uh, supervisors uh, whom he can uh, knock for accepted letters and we can do uh, we can do provide you on we have university we can yeah, we provide have, you uh, the list yeah according okay. to different schools you are applying we, we have the different links you could download the supervisor list contact the information and with that list there is supervisor's name the position the uh, the research in uh, the research uh, directions the email address uh, will be show those uh, all those information will be show on that list so that you could contact the one you are interested in Okay, okay, thank, thank you. you. Uh, so next, uh, Abu Abu Sadat Muhammad, you can unmute yourself and ask. Hello, assalamualaikum. Can you hear me? Yeah, you are audible. Ask your question, please. Okay, uh, my name is Abu Sadat Muhammad Shadan, and I completed my graduation in two thousand seventeen, Bachelor of Physics, and I also completed my gra uh, MS degree in two thousand twenty one applied physics and electronics so my interest in phd in this university but my bachelor uh, cgpa 2.57 but masters 3.50 uh, 
and master's uh, uh, paper review and uh, then the title neural simulation electrode this is my question uh, how the criteria in phd in this university so you um, bachelor's yeah, so you are curious that whether you are eligible for applying for PhD at our university? Uh, I think a PhD, basically my uh, master's subjects applied physics and electronics and my interest in laser physics. So any subject PhD in, in uh, laser physics in this university? Laser physics. What's, what's the laser physics? Um, so we we do have a school named School of um, is, is school name, uh, Physics, basically. Science and Technology. We have the materials, physics and chemistry. We have condensed matter physics, optical engineering for the PhD. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so you could uh, check. PhD, my, my, uh, my one subject in uh, master's optical science, optical oh. physics and electronics. So, okay. so uh, basically, uh, knowledge in optical physics and ele electronics. So, what is the is money uh, requirement in this uh, subject PhD? So, you can send me uh, what's the basic requirement in this field. Uh, we we um, for the for the PJ for the master and PhD, the application requirements are the same, except the acceptance letter. So for the PhD, you have to get a acceptance letter from the uh, supervisor to fulfill all the uh, documents requirements. Uh, but for others, all the requirements are the same. The GPA should be above um, 3.75% uh, for your master's. We don't have the requirements for your bachelor, actually. We only require the GPA from the previous education, yeah. like the last one. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you are okay, uh, according to the GPA you just told. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to get two recommendation letters from the professors or associate professors level okay. and uh, study plan on our required template to be filled. Mm -hmm. And um, your, your bachelor and master's degree certificate transcripts and also the non-criminal record, your physical examination form, your um, language certificates. Um, we only accept either ELS, TOEFL or TOEFL or PT academic or Duolingo. And the, the score is on our official website. You could check it by yourself. Other than that, yeah, with, you have no other. Yeah, yeah. If you have publications, awards, uh, patent? Uh, no, pa no, no publication, but there is a. It's okay. A it's not mandatory. Review. Yeah, it's not one of the mandatory documents. It's okay. If you have, that would be a plus. If you don't have, it's okay either. So uh, I I send my all documents a professor. So what's the uh, email address? I mean, like I, I said, if you search it. our official website, we have already okay. listed every school's major in the official website. You could download a supervisor list yes. documents. Okay. On that documents, you will you will see all the uh, professors' information who would like to accept international students in the academic year of twenty twenty three. Okay, but there is uh, some difficult. Uh, many professor. I uh, cannot, uh, um, uh, uh, they do not respond uh, international uh, students. So uh, uh, how can it help me here? Make sure you have a clear topic and uh, a brief content of the email and uh, okay. also attach your uh, very important document like your CV, transcript, okay. language, um, and uh, any document related or show your, uh, your you know, academic ability, something like that, okay? And also it takes time for get the response from the supervisor, okay? Uh, just be patient, okay? Yeah, I have already shared the link of the school uh, school's page. In the link, you could find a hyperlink for download the, the Supervisor list information. You could check the list by yourself. Yes. Um. I I believe um for the beginning uh for previous you know for the yeah. from last uh the 
last year, the end of last year to the beginning of this year, we are having the, you know, the pandemics, the last wave of pandemics in China, and later on we ha we have the Spring Festival. So professors may not re reply to you on time, but now the semester has already started. They have go to their regular time, uh, working time, so they will check their email regularly. So just send email and wait patiently. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. And there's one. There is another very important key point. It's like uh, if when you check the supervisor list, it has a, a teacher page. You, you you should go to the teacher page and check whether this supervisor has the same research direction or the similar research direction with you. And you need to contact the one who has the same or similar research direction with, with you. You know, if you have uh, contact the teacher who doesn't have, maybe they just like you know not reply you or something yeah so okay okay yeah, yeah. okay 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 thank you so much thank you okay thank you thank you abu abu sadat mohammed uh, and in, in any case of difficulty you can contact uh, uh, the consultant who uh, has invited uh, you with this seminar next i would okay, like okay. to ask uh, sabbi uh, rahman hello uh, hello question. please uh, please uh, send your contact number please yeah so my contact number you are Okay, okay, okay. Send, okay. Send okay me, please. I'm, uh, sending it in chat box. Okay, Mr. Sabbi, okay. Sabbi Rahman, you. please unmute yourself and uh, ask your question. Uh, hello. Uh, I want to know exact uh, uh, requirement for get a uh, full free scholarship with a stipend. Uh, recently in this year, I Finish my ACC exam, uh, so I want to know uh, about it. Um, you are so so so. Which program are you going to apply for the undergraduate or master or PhD? I think he uh, want to apply for undergrad. Undergraduate, okay. Yeah. So, uh, like why, like, like I mentioned, we have two type of a scholarship for the undergraduate program. The one is called the Bell and Road International Student Scholarship, and another one is called MPU President Scholarship. And both of them have three prizes. You know, the the first prize we will uh, like cover you like kind of tuition fee, your dormitory fee, and also provide you the monthly stipend. And but for the second and the third, uh, the prizes are kind of different between these two scholarships. And uh, we already shared you, I think, the link of the official website. Yeah, yeah. Also the scholarship page. And uh, you can save it and check it by yourself because uh, it, it will contain too many information. Uh, I, I'm just afraid that you cannot remember all the information of the scholarship. So yeah. and after that, if you have the official uh, official uh, the, the, the website link, you can check later on by yourself in case you forget about some information, okay? And also like we mentioned, so in the end, whether you can be awarded by which scholarship and which prizes, it will depend on your examination and also your interview result. So absolutely, MPU will provide the scholarship to uh, the excellent student, yes. And uh, uh, just be prepared your document and uh, have a good per, uh, uh, performance on like your interview and then uh, your examination to make sure you have a good result. And uh, yeah, we will provide you the scholarship. Maybe the good, very, the first prize, you know. Hope it is clear to you, yeah. Uh, Mr. Azam. So um, we uh, during our um, slides, I'm sorry, you didn't unmute yourself.